advantages. Just trying to bait out a potential approach and peek for the information. Look at Leviathan, though. They've realized that this is a group up over towards the A side very early on. You've got King of Mazzino pushing out B. Yeah, Broken the turret. Line. So the Utah's going to be unloaded here. Yeah. Flashed up towards the back of the side. Tex could not evacuate, couldn't evade it. Jonah P as well is going to cement himself into this four position. And the flank is given up entirely from left. They're actually going to be regrouping back up together, just trying to play this one forwards. But again, Aspas is committed, catches the cross, passing away. There was no trade in sight. Unconventional, really, from G2. Expect that to be really the building blocks of this team. Right in their time now, waiting to regroup as the Util is now back online, sending it flying forwards, and a fight is called by G2 out towards the back of the side. I see even just lucky just to get the one. Jonah P and Trent, and accounted for. Off to the side themselves, Aspas dropping down and just cannot land it. Not with a share of bullets going wildly. Yeah, I'll have to double check. Two. We will have to double check that one, but pretty yeah. sure it was Haven. Aspas, early fight and engagement for him. He's going to be opted into that straight away. Does draw blood with Leaf dropping. No one's being pushed back away from this, though. G2 still want to commit. The drone up and over, missing the tag. Aspas will right always be keen to disrespect you. Right here. He's gonna try and take those fights forward and often, especially with the rifle in hand. That has to be dodged and avoided as well. It's off angle, spraying them down, expecting yeah. that re -peak. And it's all in the back of his mind. He knows exactly the position to be doing? playing. Three in the round already for him. And dodge on the thrash too, so not even getting punished by that. He's been leading most of those statistical metrics, but finally shut down in the moment. Chose to make the play there that could have ended the round instantly, but he's left his team in a 2v2. Don't get me wrong, a lot of damage done to Icy here. In this spot, Jonah P. Gonna be the one to take that first contact. Again, there's so many healthy targets, though. Half armor, don't one shot. And he, oh, no, we'll do it, Tix. He survives. Lands those shots up. Leaves it alone to Icy in this 1v2. A quick tap as well. Icy, he should not be forced out. ADS stuff, but damage done, but he doesn't really have the gun or the weaponry for it. Again, just has to peek out, jiggle, and he's just on a sliver of health. It's enough to be guarded over the shoulder by Tex. The fuse online. As well, Aspas. Just to earn up the Blade Storm. Big group of a G2. It's all five of them. Nobody holding! Mazzino applying constant pressure. The Phantom Spam stun punishable. Earns himself a cheeky one. It's a nice one to set the scene. G2 still going to be pushing up though. Updraft over the top. Aspas claiming one after another. Dropping any adversary that steps to him. And he wants to just take away any possibilities of the G2 win. That's dominance, overwhelming aggression by Leviathan. Much space for the rest to trade off. He's gonna take these liberties. Outlaw in his hands. Oh, nice return on the fire. That's what you have to be doing. Otherwise, Aspas is gonna push further and further, test those boundaries. Doesn't get away with it, does he? Leaf is also quite eager. This guy tagged up though, not to stop himself. Head's barely poking over. Slight exchange of the bullets. Reposition though, these low players. Com is pretty hard committed off to the corner here. Players are being picked apart. That was up through mid with Pizzino dropping down. What's going to be asked for? They are falling apart actually. Leviathan, Tex. A little bit of ADAD in terms of the rifle play on hand. He's going to do a lot now to try and push this one back. Flash over as a pause to score, but they don't expect this position already. Balin crept his way up even deeper onto these sight lines. Plan can now. Go online, picking up the orb, no time, but that one's still dropping. King sensing it, there's definitely chances! Can't adjust it! No with the rifle and a thrifty win for G2. They're headed towards a B split, and this is gonna catch King under huge a lot of amount pressure. of pressure. Yeah, already walking up straight into him as well. King, just the one before the trade comes online again. Might have spot those players run. just before he dropped locked down. That is incredibly committed. Many angles you're gonna have to defend into that spot as well. I mean, Icy's like, all right, mate, I'm leaving you to your own devices. But at the same time, look how far back the defenders are. No contest possible for the plant. And even getting into a retake position is very difficult. So many spots you have to clear. Every single step of the way. The Vietan can't get a foothold, man. They cannot stand against this. Still, Mazzino will make a good go of it. But again, it's a retake scenario. Aspas is working with that operator. It's going to slow them down once more. All that time that's been bought. Back and away, Trent also with his Hunter's Fury in his back pocket, and you can already hear it. Spike's ticking away. No Options Run. removed and limited. It doesn't matter about the code that's placed down as well. Can't be defended Run. against Run. it. Valin cleaning up Mazzino, drifting off to the side. Aspas is eager to pick up that operator again, save it into the next. But that's a, that's a perfect round. It is. Lev had three or four players. Oh, finally, that defense exploration finds value, but King is still battling with Icy over towards B. 
This could be the round for Lev, despite losing Aspas early. Got the odds to potentially turn the tide. As he now he needs to be careful. It's barely a shoulder peeking out. And just spraying it through. Jonah P wins it with the Phantom. Cove He's down now. That will commit the plant into the play. Utah's going to be delayed here. And the Hunter's Fury just a little bit off the mark. It's a lockdown. Views alongside. It's still damage turn. Come. That is picture perfect as well. Lands that one right onto the mark as well. Just catching that rotation back and away. G2. That's now with just two of these players left to do the most. Nanus one broken. Mosh still available. And the war fades away. Ocon was not ready for it. Up and over on top of the ropes. No adjustment, at least with the rifle. Still damage done. Texan King low enough. Bad plan. The damage might do it. It is a bad plan indeed. Up and over the wall into his face. Dropping down on favorite. Still King gets off of it. Does it stick it down? I spiked it. I have no choice but to really respect this one here. Push back and away. Cove up now. Props it forwards. And down for the wingman. For the push it away. That's fast though, that's a nice one. This is just spam coming through, at least onto those long angles. Leviathan finally getting that advantage. The foothold that they were seeking that we've been talking about this entire time. Now it's all about converting again. G2. Shock darts forwards, flying util into the hands as a punishment. There and away and around still with that damage. He cannot be getting away with his G2. Not again! Not like this! It's an alternate. The thrash. Just to push back it away here, Tex, he just cannot get down from the high ground. There's no safety there, just buying time and critical moments here for G2. Jump spotting, seven bullets left, ticking away once more. Dominance, a masterclass finish to an almost impeccable attack side of G2. 10 to 2. As well, all this information Valen has been gaining. It's a full stack of G2. They've got all the bodies in the right places. Ready to just strike from behind. Valen is right there when his team needs it. The pressure and noise is all being made, and everybody following through and playing off of this one. Heroics in order. But King is the only one to step up to that site of challenge. And Jonah P in the end. Just can't be stopped, man. This entire squad. There's no hiding of the intent, just trying to look players up, trying to catch those cheeky timings. Instead, fully barreling their way forward. It's all trying to be expected and anticipated, but a spam Go on one side here. They know where Aspas Again. loves to play. Yeah, right at the top, you can feel them just raining bullets down onto that spot, forcing them to back away as well. It's all off angles being played again. Lev just trying to hunt and fight towards the back of the side here. Finding the mark, it's Aspas finally online. Here and now, leaves it up to Trent, but they're all being faced in the end, so... The, the plan for free, and have Reckoning for post. Good identification of the way the G2 are going to be looking to play, and King's on the late lurk. Spass, heavily committed. Move. Reckoning has to be committed as well, just to help him out. Big reveal. Dart spotting the two, spraying away. Mazzino not getting punished, at least from not letting the rifle reset here. Backing away now, trying to play this post a little bit better here with a Cove. Broken and bursted, still the kill, it's coming in here for G2, Wingman, it's online, up and over the ropes as well, it's still being diffused as well, despite the fact that Icy was dropped from behind the flank, it's King to deny and delay, trying to land that kill, and finally goes his way. But otherwise, G2 just looking to play a bit of a retake here. Oh, Tex has wandered way too far, way far up, head of the curve. To his own dismay, and still it's down to the rifle aim. King, he will deliver. Dropping down too, so that Hunter's Fury is causing issues in the movement. Barely enough to get out of there. Aspas survives into the mix now. Three versus three. Comes still with the ult, and he's playing this one far back as well. That's the insurance policy into the back pocket. What is going to be the play by G2 as well. Bodies will topple and fall still. Getting a few players onto this one, at least with a wingman. Onto the fuse. He committed. That's the acknowledgement broken. These were just the one burst. Aspas holding for the deeper push as well, just spotting it. Top of the head, top of the cranium, just can't quite land it as well. Movement, a char, finally. There with a pre -amp. Trent sticking all the way through. And there was no plan in sight, but Leviathan just ahead. didn't quite have the extra level to it. Sure that they don't force and make things more difficult for themselves. Yeah, playing it for long-term focus. And grab the win. Round a little bit later down the line. Aspas, this is incredibly committed. Part of the course of this guy. My swarms not doing a job there to push back the plant, so we're going that extension into the round as well. Deep flank here. The P again looking to potentially pressure from the side as well. Jutsu now sending in waves the util committal here. The lockdown by Lev, just trying to push them back in a way as well. What is the plan in place for G2? They're looking to pinch con from both sides. Look at this protocol to clear out the lurker. Gorgeous stuff. Recognition, no silver utility. Let's go and find where Kong is. 
gonna have to get a move on here. Timers against them. There's of the essence in this spot right here. Committed positions out from Mazzino. Off angle, spraying them down, at least with it. Nana Swarm's delaying, denying as well. Even more time has been brought up against them again. It's off that narrow margin half. Onto it, sticking all the way, but every single player falling. For a cross up into mid as well, but maybe expecting it in a different position. Spikes over towards A. Space again given up here to text, but he can't overstep himself. Not again. This is the defining moment. There's only 34 seconds left and just strikes. Rapid approach. Backs away now, playing with the rest of the team and across and away over an attempt to punish. Here's a lockdown. Holtz now being laid up one after the other. The thrash entertainment off into the corner. Needs to be his bodyguarded off to the side. Dizzy. Del Pass, pass. That is just elite still. The flood in fast. Into the thick of it, off to the side, Jonah P. That's snappy, up. and the pressure yeah. is definitely on. Icy already applying it. Quick little tab at the fuse as well. Kills need to flood in and through. Jonah P needs to be dealt him off from the side. And they do finally take care of him, down to just one. Trent not able to catch it into the cross. A tap again, but he knows he's not on it. It's even evident, and a 3 2 1 swing is good enough for Lev. And good enough for the round win. Watch the things for the rest of his team. Remi reminder that G2 took an eco round in order to make round 20 their decisive final blow. And now they're forced onto another eco here. Yeah. Holtz being committed as well into the prior. Yeah, things are starting to slip away from G2's uh, iron grip that they had on this map earlier on. Here. This point just trying to hold. Oh my goodness! The shot just barely missing. The haircut given to Mazzino. And I think that's indicating the kind of loss of grip we're talking about with G2. It's tumultuous. Poison's off. Jonah P. It's committed. Drone as well, potentially giving him that extra information. It's broken. It's two rifles ring out as well. It gives him a bit of an indicator to play it. That's a shot to, to swing off. I mean, cooking up plays on the fly. G2. Surely this is not how you win a round. This is not how you close out a map, not in any sort of typical fashion, but why not? When the sheriff's online, when the shots are hitting... 30 seconds left. Time is what you make of it already! How is Jonah P getting this value? Two versus two. The damage done to Mazzino. All it takes is the tiniest of breezes to bring him down. That's a tap to force him out into the open G2! On the precipice, on the cusp, and that's how they finish it! A thrifty to close it all out. Olivia Tan, you got to get it out of your mind here. King pushed them back with the early molly again. He's still committed into this spot as well. It's not an easy exit for him. He's tucked to the corner, so dizzy. And an explosion to just committed right out and through. Double players up through the TP as well. Cut to the corner. But again, the adjustments, the micro aim adjustments. G2 have locked them in place just like that. <laughs> I can't believe the G2 have got out of that one alive. I don't know what the timing was, but it looked perfection. Aspas is going to do his best to try to recover things. He's got some hookah control. Can he play Mazzino back in? Oh, Mazzino's that latch onto Mazzino? Yeah, again, he's just like caught up into the corner once more. And G2 happy to take up all the space. Even through the back of the halls, Aspas, they already know his position. They flipped the site entirely against him. They're not going to give him a chance or an option to get back into this. It's Anything ridiculous. G2 do, yeah, they're always going to be trying to make sure that they sync up these plays together. Snappy. Adjustments. Off to the side again, but the plan is even just for backside. Who's going to take first contact for it? Valen knows he's off of it. There's no time. The circle shrinks, yeah, and so to the chances. Once more, G2. They twist and turn. You just cannot quite catch G2 unaware. You can scuttle past it. Makes it very difficult. It's too many angles to watch for already. Could have walked back. Ah, jump spot though from Trent. A little bit too overcommitted. And now the util. It's gonna sail straight through and pass it over to Satchel. Just barely getting these players out of dodge still. Icy's alive and kicking still. Aspas all turned. It's in the back pocket now with a showstopper. Could be a key piece. They used to try and push this back and apply the pressure right back to him. G2. But he got 30 seconds left. Sees. Going to miss actually. Rebounding right into them. I think that was comms to try and delay and deny. Leap the plan. There's nothing to. Push this back and away. Watch him for the headshot angle. Just anybody to hop up onto that box. King, time needs to be bought. A noise needs to be made for him to get some value from that spot, but he is cleaned up. All sticking together now. Alt in the hands. Noise being cut. Aspas is just hoping 
Bit of a force, G2 to scurry away, but again, they tuck tight to the corners and there is so much safety here for them. Denying any opportunity, this swings. It's perfection in motion, man. And G2, make even the best teams feel like you're just dancing around them every single time. There's no value to be gained here. It's three. But winning the bonus puts enormous pressure onto Leviathan. It's in a rare round where it's going to be that heavy committal from G2. They don't wait things out. Not right now. Still, Tenult goes wide and forwards and through. Still have to worry about these showers. Player Satchel up and over. Still, I see he's perched up, but he is vulnerable into this spot as well. There's too many angles to really account for, but the smoke's in his face. Full committal by Lev now. They've got all the bodies in the right place, making sure that they can try and flood back into this one and fight it. Aspas is leading the charge. Spearhead for the team, but again, forcing these players out wide and open. In through the showers, fighting in a slip mid around Mazzino from behind. Barely there, still lands it. Everybody topples. Lev, two players up onto the flank. Viper's pit now to try and offset this. G2, very defensive. Jonah Beacon here, all of this. And the off angle not expected again. Wide in the face. King will deliver at least with the trade as Amoli at his feet. Timing's not good enough. Just tries to get straight past Whoa. it in the head. Aspas off and over, around and away. But again, they got to deal with this pit and it's just causing too much confusion into the fight. Chrome left standing. to do a lot. Trent's still locking it down very short. The tap from Mazzino, but all it takes is a bit of spraying and praying and a deal with any sort of intruders. The push ahead here by G2. Thrash couldn't be followed up, just waiting out for the Teva. There is that detainment into the corner. Orbital strike as well. We'll push them back in the way. That's a spike a minute, Marlin. Couldn't run away from it. He's seeking safety, at least with the TP, and this is G2 in a pretty precarious spot. They have to explode out into this one and try and take these fights. Brute force on display, but King locking it down. Molly's at the feet, and that's overwhelming. This has been pushed as well into this deep corner as well. I don't think this is going to be expected at all. King walks straight into it. Pitch dropped down. That's beautiful, and it's a massive opening now. It leaves it all down to Calm. He's a solo anchor. He's got to weather the storm. Buffer for himself, pass, and away from him. But look at the utility. You can't stand your ground. Not against that, you have to give it up. And so, backs away now. Still with the weak weapons for G2, but plenty of tools at their disposal. Definitely to turn the tide. And with that orbital strikes. Going to be committed into elbow here. But a spam and the bullets. They forced this fight out and at least isolated Com. Picked up the weapon, and the call is made to move forwards. To pack mentality. And they're ripping it Lev apart through the back of the side. It's Aspas and Tex. They have to reclaim. Back clear part of this. The half clearance again, and Aspas is left to do the most. Still, a blessing in disguise here. Rocket into his hands. Half onto the fuse. Here's the footsteps. Noise bait jump spot again. A tap. Now the committal. Aspas knows it. The wing cons has to get half, at least for even a chance in hell, but he doesn't know if he's being pressured right, but picked up and away, drifting back and forth. They know he's not on it. Leap again, tapping and swinging around. We go. G2. A thrifty win to close that one out. This angle, though. Seen a few players in this spot here still going, walking further forwards, just encroaching into territory that they potentially don't have, yet still Spice will get rewarded. Down. King forced to back away here, and at least there's an ult forced out as well out of Icy. He wanted to respond back here. Fuse is going to be running out just in time. Still tucked to the corner. Oh, no. Free fire. Running him down. What? what? Mazzino? How the hell has he got that? That's so unlucky for Mazzino. Yeah. But still, Leviathan in the 3v2. King's done his job. It's definitely made it winnable. But Aspas is that lone player sitting onto the side. I've been worried about the showers players. Aspas back in position once more. Has that control out towards Lamsia and Thrash with a detainment is the best chance they've ever had. Jonah P seeks to delay and at least try and save, but it's not possible. The angle wasn't watched for. Aspas going away here. This off angle by Aspas is vitally important. And it's all about a clearance. Leaf expecting it. At least with that anticipation, maybe he's created an opening still. G2, they don't want to shy away from this fight. Out towards A now with just 30 seconds left. It's a full committal, even though the players are here to receive. Lev. Crossed up now. Com still with control. Out towards it. Can't deny the plan though. He's the one who's dropped. Mazzino. Surely you don't go for this as well. He's just walking out into the open. Raining down with the bullets and his head just pops out and over. Enough for Trent to pluck it off his head. G2 managed to win this round with no smokes. Valen had already used them on that failed execute that got cancelled by the nightfall. I'm looking at the position of Aspas, of Tex. Aspas on an off angle. Tex playing heaven that you can't smoke off. Yeah. And yet both of those players fell in an instant. Good anticipation of where Aspas was going to play from leave. And then Icy just swings short and deletes Tex. <laughs> King with a couple of uh, 
Thrash is all going to be used to try and clear out this bid. And guess what? Detainment onto the two. It's an orbital strike. They are just waddling and wading through it, but then microwave to death and splitting it all the way up. There's no lacking of the map control here. Fully in control of the front section of A. There needs to be a response from Lev here. It's the final round here of the half. They're trying to take the fight forwards into the approach again, but Mazzino traded out. Can't quite do it. It's bullets firing all the way down as well. You want more? barely able to more. evade most of it here. Second round of things with the Thrash Entertainment, not quite there, just about avoided. Dizzy in their faces. Flashed up, there's the acknowledgement. And Icy's keen for it. Even keener aim still will be required. Still as fast as there. Now with a showstopper, up and over once more. Pre-fires into the corner. But too much to do, surely. Too much to overcome. Triangle of Death, just a setup around him. Eight to four. On the pistol round, as you attack G2 over towards B long, you've got to recognize that they're going to fall back into high-low setups. They do this pretty constantly. Or double flash fight. I mean, lines potentially connecting there, but pre-fire necessary, dropping the players. Look G2 at the walkout weakened. from Valens. Yeah, this is very committed. Here's a many, many footsteps here. Just didn't quite know what to aim for. Good read, though. Great read from Leviathan. They got players anti-flash for that play down B long, and then they recognize Valen. Very good anticipation. That's what we've been missing from Lev. I'm just cutting noise. Still bodies are being shown here. Lev ready to try and swarm and overwhelm this one. That's a committal into the TP. They don't have prior control of this one. And that might bite them from behind. I see he's the one who's just looking to make his mark. No, and shots rattled. Three necessary at least to just clean up Mazzino. Backside control fully gained up here, but across, not watch your leaf. He's quick onto it, time to back, and at least trade it here, but still 2v3. They don't know where the retakers are coming from, though. Exactly, it's perilous. Precarious. Here for G2 now, still doubled up. Same could be said for Lev, though, and they want to try and take this fight. Anyway, you slice it. Again, still doubled up and backing away once more here, puts Icy. With a difficult task ahead of him. Got to overcome this one here, and it's a high-low setup, just crouched up one below the other. Necessary to deal with these G2 players when they've been getting away with so much here. That's really just slowing this one down. They have no other options across the rest of the map here. It's all five players up for a short. They're just slowing it down for a moment, but now going for the committal. Trailblazer used in response. That clears out most of the shower. It's going to give G2 a bit of peace of mind as well, knowing that nobody's playing into that spot. Might even just seeking to try and delay this one. That's Valen. A bit of run and gun. Just punishing that one as they're just trying to get onto the line of side angles, out through laps and away. It's jumping up and around. Mazzino just barely alive. Down to the double digits. Dizzy being used as well and committed. King cleaning up. Jonah P. That was a necessary one as well. Losing control slowly of the map here, but over the top as well. That's all smoked up. Leaf, this guy is working miracles for them. Now the rest of the team going to be grouping up here. Two left to stand here for Lev. Tex looking his way around almost. A miracle again, it's King. Contacting. Valen to hold them back. It's an off angle. Asfas leading the charge as well. He's low enough here. Right, balls! Spray it away. Valen's eight. still getting two. And these players looking from behind. There's only 20 seconds left into the round here. You can feel the uncertainty just settling into left. They don't know where they can remaining. even be possibly coming from here. Jonah P just wraps it around from the side as well. Needs some help now being just ran down all the way through Mazzino. Doesn't know where to expect a second spike. Has to be committed to tap onto the plan. Hoping that it pushes Leaf out into the open, but he will be happy once more. Arriving here for G2, still worried about the potential. But being a lurker, but it's a crossfire setup to get through. And what util do they have? Trailblazer. Leaf should be good enough. Takes on the movement, that's nice. Just slightly ajar, still G2. And not gonna be slowing down their own approach. Off from the side here. Get a bit of a pincer going, but they need these hooker players to start down putting in go. some impact, or do they? It's barreling over, brute force, and again, the distractions necessary to try and win it still. To pit in their face, a tap. Forcing these players out from the wide open space. No way, adjustment, Valen, ridiculous. It's magnetic in the moment, sticks it to half. Wind gods hurt, and around, one out. That is ludicrous. This one looks like a heavy committal. sino has got an orbital strike to work with. They can use that to clear a lot of that space. Might give them peace of mind, and yeah, it's gonna be committed. So, out towards Lamp here. Valen gets to move on, uses the stimmy to evacuate and through and out. Nade sails up and over. Jonah P, so fast onto this line. Adjustment, control, needs to be maintained here, but flash into the face, G2 have toppled them all. It's a 12th round, and one more step is all that's needed, and one left. player is all that stands between it. A grand finals appearance for G2.
They'd love to have it to right the wrongs of stage one. And it's Tex. How much more poetic could it get? The player removed from G2 at the beginning of the year has to do it all with He's only 10 get seconds. A on, man. They know exactly where he is. G2 won't give him anything at all. 13 to 6, a 2 0 finish. That's dominance, man.